Google and Facebook have announced that they're going to start censoring various websites based on a fake news criteria that no one has really defined. But lo and behold, suddenly a liberal college professor comes out with a fake news list that includes many of your favorite alternative media websites and gets promoted by the LA Times and USA Today and other mainstream establishment mouthpiece organs of the propaganda establishment. The European Parliament passes a resolution that suddenly calls on this hitherto unknown mini-true hiding within the European bureaucracy, the Strategic Communication Task Force, to start cooperating with NATO in countering Russian propaganda. And lo and behold, a mysterious shadowy group that no one can identify suddenly comes out with a Russian propaganda list that includes many of your favorite alternative media websites like the Corbett Report, and this gets promoted on the front page of the Washington Post. I don't know if you've noticed, but the war is actually begun. We are in the midst of the media wars, and the time for standing idly by and not choosing a side has already come and gone. There is no time for sitting on the fence. We are now in a position of actual combat. And the alternative media cannot do it alone, because the alternative media is you. It's not that we rely on your support, it's that you are the resistance. You are the alternative media, and you are making the choice right now whether you're going to continue supporting the propaganda establishment with your time, your energy, and your money, or whether you're going to start supporting the alternative media. Now. Thankfully, that decision is being made by more and more people every single day. And for those who didn't notice, Newsbud just had a remarkably successful Phase 2 campaign, raising over $130,000 to continue doing what they're doing over at Newsbud.com. So we are putting up a fight. We are putting up resistance. And I do not want people to start thinking, oh, well, the establishment is going to crack down and there's nothing we can do. They want you to believe that we are weak, that we can easily be defeated. But even if we are weak compared to the establishment propaganda matrix, when will we be stronger? At what point next week, next year, at the point at which they have a mini true officer stationed in every Facebook feed? The war is actually begun. Why stand we here idle? What is it that gentlemen wish? What would they have? Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not co what course others may take, but as for me, give me freedom of the press or give me death. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com the Corbett Report is brought to you by you. Your support makes The Corbett Report possible. Sign up for the subscriber newsletter or purchase a DVD at corbettreport.com support.